What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. We're still in Georgia. If you guys haven't been following along, you really need to because I'm starting to do a lot of videos in series. If you do follow along, you know our last video, we were in Blackshear, Georgia. We hung out with the kids for the weekend, shot bows, caught some bluegills, caught some bass, just had a good time with my family. My mom and dad was there. And then we left Blackshear and came to our fish camp right here in Gardai, Florida jessup georgia on the autumn hall river and if you pay good attention and you saw crystal beachy shooting her brand new prime archery bow she done piled her up a buck look at that buck yeah. <laughs> dang what a buck babe yeah. good girl good girl yeah man what a bad shot <laughs> that's a good shot that deer was dead one minute after you shot it. Crystal Beachy. What was your name so everybody knows? What was it? Flat Waits. I got me a buck. <laughs> hey, big buck slayer. Are you going to save any bucks for us this year? Yes. You better get on the ball, though. You guys, she's done killed a big buck in South Carolina. Done killed a big buck in Georgia with her bow. And she is on one heck of a roll. That's all right though, that's why we're hunting. We go hunting to shoot bucks. I can't help she's two bucks ahead of the rest of us. Right now though, we're getting ready to leave our fish camp. I hate doing it. This is probably my favorite place on the planet. I love coming here, Crystal loves it. The kids love it. But we gotta get home to get the kids because this coming Saturday is opening weekend of archery season at our new lease in South Florida and that's what we have been gearing up for for months. But on the way home, we're gonna stop at my good buddy Ian who's tugboat on YouTube and we're gonna go shrimping in St. Augustine. He's got some blue crab traps out for us and he said the shrimp are running, so we're gonna make a pit stop in St. Augustine and go catch some shrimp. We'll see y'all there. Y'all, he looks like Ian, but that's not Ian. He Let's... must be a handsome dude. No, he looks just <laughs> like you. He's got the beards. All right, here's the goods. There it so is. So we had to make a pit stop and bring Crystal's brother, Myron, her deer. Yep, he's gonna make us some deer jerky. Jerky time, yep. Next time on your way through, we'll have that good, good jerky. So we're here in a Cracker Barrel parking lot doing a, a deer meat show. deal. Doing that. Pass most up. people the Barbie fired up. Most people do drug deals in parking lots. <laughs> we're doing deer deals. We could be a little more public about it. All right. Well, it's always nice to see her brother. Most of her family lives in other states. He lives in Jacksonville, where we're at right now. Her sister lives in South Carolina. One of her other brothers lives in Kentucky seatbelt oh. where do they all live Jacksonville South Carolina Kentucky and Tennessee and Tennessee we've got Myron Aaron. Myron Aaron Jesse Sonny that's it and, and Beachy <laughs> and Beachy she's well, got it's all we're all Beachy she's got four siblings so now we're headed to St. Augustine it's always nice to be able to give meat to somebody who really really needs said, it and wants it he, he said he hasn't had a deer to process in eight years. Well, he's got one to that process makes me feel now. Bad. <laughs> we'll bring him a bunch this year. Fortunately, we end up shooting a bunch of deer every year. We do eat a ton of it ourselves, but we always find people to give it to, so it never goes to waste. Right now, though, all I'm focusing on is some big shrimp. Mm. Some big old shrimp. We got geese up here. Jacksonville geese. Hey, geese. <laughs> I haven't seen Ian in a while. It's gonna be nice seeing him. Him and I grew up together in Jupiter, Florida. Didn't see each other for God, a long time, probably 20 years. And over the last two years, because of social media, we reconnected and- You can't go left here. Is that what that wrong way sign is? Yep, just <laughs> make sure. <laughs> All right, we'll see y'all in St. Augustine. Y'all, we just pulled up to his house and he's already bragging. Just <laughs> checking this cooler. Oh, man. Goodness gracious. Ow! You got that. I know better than that. Hey, we were watching our last shrimping video at camp the other night, so Crystal could watch <laughs> when that squid bit us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. That looks good. We got on them last night. Hopefully we can get on them right now. Of course, we waited till the, uh, cool time of the day to go throw the net a bunch of times hopefully the storms get don't get too bad man last night we were bow hunting we sat through or i sat through 
one of the first storms I've gotten down out of my tree and went and hid in the Palmettos because really? of lightning. It was bad. It was bad. When we went out to go shrimping last night, it was storming, but I waited it out and it stopped at eight and put some bait in the water and we did good. But we're gonna do a different thing today. We're gonna get them out of the deep water with tape nets. All right, first throws a year for me. Probably could have done a little bit better. How deep <laughs> is it here? It is 20 foot. We're marking some shrimp. Hopefully. Hope, what, what I think is shrimp, but little you see this little stuff on the bottom of the screen there, that's generally shrimp. These nets have tape around them, and I'll show you the tape in a minute. And that allows the net to sink like this. A normal bait net will go like this. The tape nets will fall flat. I'm on the bottom. I don't feel no ticking. <laughs> Just What's it feel like? Short little jerk. If there's shrimp in oh, there. Oh, when there's shrimp in there, you it's feel like a chicken. Like you feel it in the in the rope in your hand. Like little vibrations? Yeah. yeah. We'll see. Come on. We got a couple. Enough for a shrimp cocktail. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That ain't that ain't horrible, ain't That's great. A good one. Ain't horrible, ain't great. Not a bad first throw. I didn't feel the first shrimp tick either. They're kind of weird in, in the daytime. Uh, they can, you know, they're buried down in the mud. So they're not they're not gonna pop up quite as hard as sometimes. Let's throw them little ones back in the water. Unless you want to save them for frozen bait. Let them go, let them grow. So I grab it by the horn right here. Grab it about midways. Fold it over. Some people don't put it in their mouth. I do, just like this. Flip it over your shoulder, like that. The most important thing is your pointer finger and your thumb. That's the last thing I let go of. So with my thumb and my pointer, I flip it and let go of it. There's zero breeze out here. The oh, water, I feel them now. You know, the good thing though is that the water is 87 if you want it to cool off. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt them ticking that time. They're in there. We gonna get them. I wish you guys need to come back up and do the nighttime shrimping with me. So at the nighttime, the shrimp move from these deep holes up to the shallows near the docks and we put out bait for them. And it's a ton of fun because it's not as hot. I was gonna and say it's not near as hot. You can just, uh, you know, relax and talk on the dock and throw and, you know. Have fun with it. Right now with me. I'm what you get? I see one right there. That's a dozen, a dozen. Hey, that's good. That's like 20 in there. That was a good throw. I felt those ticking. That's a croaker right there. That's a good snapper or snook or redfish bait. You know what's cool about this area is you obviously shrimp or saltwater oh. species, but you'll catch both. So like you can catch redfish right here. And I seen a tarpon roll uh, on Saturday right here, but also like channel cat and black bass. And it's just, just pretty cool place. Mixed bag. So far, so good, Gabriel. All right, I'm gonna show y'all one more time. I still got shrimp falling out. Put it in your mouth, flip it over your shoulder. When I throw it this time, pay attention to my thumb and my pointer finger, right here. I spin that and that around and it makes it open up. You can feel this net go, 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 and then it'll just stop. The light mist off the cast nets feel really good. <sighs> you can, if you're holding the rope, you can clearly feel when it hits the bottom. We're marking them all over the bottom right now, too. So. Oh, yeah. I always like to grab my horn and let some of the net out. I'm gonna dump these on the deck so you can see how many we got. That was one throw. That's really good. About 20. All right, she has no idea what she's about to do, but she's gonna attempt it. Do a complete circle and then sling it out there in front of you. 
Look Woo! at that! You just threw a pancake your first throw ever. I nope. think she's secretly I'm dizzy as heck off that one circle. <laughs> Once you get tight, don't pull on it, but feel for it to drop and hit the bottom. You just threw a perfect cast your first ever throw. With very little instruction, I'll say. Yeah, but you got to watch a how-to video from True. me. Once you feel it stop, there right. it stopped. Now little tugs, little short, fast tugs. I think I feel some vibration. What's that? Yeah, there it's better. All right, now you can go ahead and pull it up fast. Yesterday, I was a little worried they were moving. Oh, I got some. I got some. I got some. You got them good. Good job. <laughs> that was her first time ever throwing a net. That, that's, that's a two or three dozen throw right that's there. That's not bad at all. It's just rain and shrimp. You guys, that was the most unstaged thing ever. I literally showed her for like one second how He's to like, throw it. All right, here, just do it. And I'm like, I don't know. And she just pancaked that what joker. What I completely expected is to go in the water with the net. That's what I expected to happen. Oh, God. Have you ever fell in the water while cast netting? I don't think so. Remember Mr. C, our yeah. high school teacher? <laughs> I was catching sardines on the bow of his boat. And he floored it in reverse as I launched that 12 footer and I fell in rubber boots at all and they laughed. That sounds like Mr. C. That does. <laughs> what are y'all talking about Mr. C? He's our old school teacher, he Mr. C. Agriculture teacher. Wait, y'all grew up together? Yeah. Let me tell y'all about Mr. C. John Cilianto, he was our ag teacher in Jupiter High School a long time ago. If we had teachers like him now, we'd have a whole lot less punks. If you did something bad, there was one time he put my fingers in a set of vice grips and I thought he was going to break them. But I can assure you what I didn't do was whatever pissed him off again. He would have broke you of that habit real quick. All these shrimp make me want to go fishing too. High five. <laughs> the last shrimp and video you and I did, we caught flounder with the shrimp that we caught. Last night we caught a big, oh man, I might have a big fish in here. Uh, we caught a big old uh, pel pelco or this armored catfish. Pelco. But the biggest one I'd ever seen, it's like this big. They're always usually about the same size, not very big, but. If you guys come shrimping, be smart like them and have a bimini top with shade. Ooh, the shade. Oh no. That's what we call a banana cast. But go ahead and let it sink though, because no. one good thing about that tape is it's forgiving. It'll help open that net up as it sinks. So it's not, all is not lost. That first cast, I won't say she got lucky, but it was a little bit of luck. With cast net, it takes a little bit of practice, but once you learn how to do it, a cast net can save you money by catching you bait. You can catch food with it. You can have a blast with it. Everybody needs to learn how to throw a cast net. You don't have to have a great big one either. A six footer is fine. We throw 14 footers and it gets a little heavy. I think about that like in a survival situation. I watch some shows like, well, what would you bring? I'd be like, give me a cast net, First, man. You can I'll be catch eating mullet and whatever, crabs. You can always catch something in a cast net. Give me a cast net, I'll be eating good. I mean, she still caught six with a banana cast. You get a B for effort, babe. The next one you'll do fine. Wasn't terrible. Oh. Pull your rope a little bit because you got it hung up in the net. I about caught him. All right, now let it sink. You did that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. The harder you throw with that left hand before you move your right, the better your net will open. Mm. It's all about the right hand. I'm like that. I swing back a little bit, and my hand has done this before I ever do that, mm. and it opens full moon every time. I'm gonna say she has 12. At least. Eyeballs. Wasn't bad. And she's throwing a much smaller net than Ian and I, so she shouldn't be catching as many, and she's doing dang good. So legally by law, we're allowed five gallons, and typically if it wasn't so hot, we would just keep them in this basket until we reach five gallons. What I'm gonna do now is see how many of these little rows it's up. It's up to about the second one. We're gonna go ahead and put these on ice because they will get too hot always important to have a good cooler especially on crazy hot days just like that 
Now I know I can do that about three more times and that'll be our limit. Easy peasy. Getting better, getting better. All it takes is practice. Hey, I guarantee you there's far more people on this planet that don't know how to throw a cast net than there is that does know how to throw a cast net. She has never touched a cast net until today. So when we get home tonight in the driveway, I'll really give her some good instructions. But at least now she's getting the concept of it. Look at that. Not bad, not bad. Getting the hang of it. Sounded good. It sounded, it was perfect. It was almost perfectly perfect. The only thing I saw you did wrong that last one is keep your right arm straight. Don't bend it. You need to use that centrifugal force like Ian said, a ballerina. Keep that arm straight the whole time. Don't bend it. I mean, you can move it a little bit, but don't go past right there. Keep that arm locked. Feeling good about this time. Spin and throw. Hold on, don't confuse you, but you need to throw with the wind. So now you gotta throw on that side. Come on, B, G, B, G, B, G. Oh, yeah! That was loud, I'm sorry, y'all, sorry. <laughs> and that was sorry. the most Gabe thing ever, to make you change something at the last second. Like, hold on, hold on, just, just change one little thing. <laughs> That's Gabe. <laughs> No, no, straight. You just changed a little thing, but you, you, you did it. But that's an important thing. People yeah. need to know you can't throw a cast net into the wind. Holy moly, get the camera! That's oh, yeah. your best throw that's yet. Much. That wasn't quite a pancake, but that was as good as you could ask for. I can tell you that. That was an A plus. Thank you. Y'all check it out. It does not get any fresher than that. In this pot, I got a little steam pan. Water underneath it, we're just adding a shrimp. So the reason I steam them and not boil them is they're so fresh. I don't want to cook the freshness out of them. Right here I've got some butter and I'm going to add some Old Bay. The second they're done steaming, we're going to mix them up in a bowl. And these will be some of the best, just easy, simple shrimp you'll ever eat. And a tech tip, if you ever go buy bait shrimp and you don't catch any fish, don't throw them out and don't let them die. Keep them, put them on ice, bring them home and do the same meal with it. It will be amazing i promise you it will be a lot better than freezing them and using them for bait later you will go to the bait store and buy shrimp and cook them all the time it's just that easy but why are you so lazy he likes to code floor buddy Bye. <laughs> all right let's show them how to make this sauce just simple old bay had two little half sticks of butter in there i'm gonna go pretty heavy on the old bay about that much, probably about a tablespoon. And I'm gonna do a half of a lime. Just stir all that up. I don't know how many times I've ate bait shrimp. I know one time we went to the Bahamas years ago and Troy Woodham was with us and he bought and brought a bunch of bait shrimp, but he put them on ice and treated them a lot better than you normally would some bait shrimp. And I said, why are you doing that? He said, we're gonna eat what we don't use for bait, son. And we all laughed and thought it was funny until dinner time came and he cooked them. We didn't eat any of the hogfish. I don't think we ate any of the conch. We ate all of Troy Woodham's bait shrimp. Look at this, they're already done. I mean, two minutes. Tell me that don't look good and smell good. good. There's nothing on them. You don't need to pile a bunch of seasonings on fresh shrimp, especially not the shrimp that you catch out of the St. John's River. Those things right there are legit. Look at their little eyeballs. Now, if I was gonna freeze these, I would not freeze them with the head on. I'd go ahead and take it off, but right now they're so fresh, there's no reason to get rid of that. When you don't overcook them, look how easy they peel. Just a little bit of butter. The shrimp right there are so good. Man. No. you guys gotta give credit to Crystal. She didn't know today was gonna to be all about her learning how to throw a cast net. But like everything we do, she wants to do it with us. She doesn't want us to do it for her. She wants to do it. So I just put her up there and said, watch me one time and you do it. She did an amazing job. If you want a cast net, pick one up, watch some of my videos. I have a bunch of cast net videos. You won't regret it. Fresh water, salt water. 
if you have a boat or off of a dock, cast netting is the way to go. Look at us. We haven't showered. <laughs> well, God bless you. We haven't showered. It's been a long day. We got up at about seven o'clock in Georgia. Went to St. Augustine and tramped. Drove another three hours home and... Got some damn good shrimp. You guys, that's it. Not one ounce of seasoning, just a little bit of butter. Just because I love butter, that's all you need to do. That's it, folks. We got to shower. We got to download all this footage and edit this video. And then we got to jump on a blue crab video that we filmed today as well. You didn't get to see it yet, but we went blue crabbing as soon as we were done shrimping. And that video will come up next. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. But like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape.